Real quick, guys, another big thing. Um, discovering programs. X360CE is the name of the program. Basically, you take your inputs. It will make it an Xbox 360 controller. Street Fighter V. Well-known game that is only really meant for the keyboard and people are waiting for updates from it. But, ladies and gentlemen, we do have two-player action going on on this. We do have our light, medium, and hard kicks. Everything is there. One-handed Hadoukens. Can we do it? Hold on. Oh. There you go. One-handed all day. Amazing. The start button works. Amazing what programs you could do. Again, we do have Street Fighter V working with the joysticks. And again, just mind-boggling stuff. Mind-blowing. Right now, we're going to load up real quick Mortal Kombat just to see how this program works. Again, the name of the program is x360ce so you program it one time basically and then from this point on now we just simply copy and paste this to every pc game folder and now our sticks will work let's load up i want to try it injustice and mortal kombat all right guys real quick we're gonna load up injustice 2 um graphics on this again gtx 1050 ti very high check this out Setting sets are very high. I'll even show you the settings on this. Same thing again. Two player working on this. Arcade sticks. We got interact. See, the thing about these fighting games is that each game is different. Um, so if I real quick, this kind of game and also Mortal Kombat is an eight button configuration. So this game is using, for example, the A... Um, whatever the xbox controller is so like x now it's a b x y l l button so l1 r1 and i have these set right now to l2 r2 so for example there's some games that do need l2 and r2 for example injustice like to flip your stance it's not really like needed but some other games like mortal kombat do need it so for right now player one for us to, let's say, pause the game, I do have it set to here. So this is the back button on the Xbox 360 controller. This is the start. So as you can see, I am able to at least pause it. Instead of me setting this up to start, I do have this as a flip. Not really that big of a deal, but real quick, let me just show you real quick, because this is the thing about these games, PC games and all that, is there's different, different games play differently. So check this out. Injustice 2. Look at the attack list. So you got really three attacks one two three that's three buttons you got a character power that's four you got a throw that's button five i would suggest and you have an interact which i have as button six so as you can see there are some other buttons like here meter burn and flip stance that is your right trigger left trigger right button left button so this game is a type of game that there's basically just three main attack buttons and then your power so the way i have this set up is that Again, X, Y, A, B are the main like real buttons. So I probably, I have this set up as X, Y, A, B, L1, which would be L, B on a Xbox controller and R1. Cause as you can see, the triggers here are pointless. This flip stance, I think it's a pointless thing. You could always come in and change it, but real quick, just to exit out. And you, this is something you have to learn. We have to figure out, you know, again, this is A and B. So this is the back button again. I do have a lo the the grab animation on the button three. So again, pretty cool stuff. Let me see if I could show you real quick for the haters. I don't. I will go into the main menu on this. I never really got into you know injustice. It's a really like crazy game. I mean, you got here again all these like different combinations. Let's see if we could throw a battering ring real quick. But again, as you can see. I could always like set this up like X and Y, but that's really flipped. Oh no, it's actually A and B, is it? No. On an Xbox controller, this is A and then Y instead of a B. This is, again, this button layout is for a Super Nintendo controller. So, I mean, like, you know, somebody's going to see this and go, oh, Vic, X isn't working. You know, it, it's, it might actually hit that right letter, but that's why I don't like putting letters on these control panels. But for example, like, you know, you're going to have to go into the controller preset and then you're going to have to look at, again, it's specific games, medium attack. So I have that set to Y. That should be button two up here. I'm going to flash like an Xbox 360 controller. So if I want to do a battering ring, so it's left, right, 
There it was, right there. So left, right, button two. That's my Y. Let's see what else other kind of things we could do. One-handed. Straight grapple is almost like a... It's like a Hadouken. Let's see if we could do that real quick. So... Let's see. Again, trying to find out what my, my X is. Nope. Sorry. Again, doing this live. My X button... What do I have there? Maybe as, a, as the bottom? I'm trying to remember how... No, this is A. Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure if that was it. No, it should be a grapple. Again, trying to do this one hand too. I can't tell if that's it. I doubt it, but let's just see one more time. Oh, that is it. So X is here. Again, it might be because I'm doing it one-handed, but there's a grapple right there. See that? So pretty cool stuff. Again, we are running this high graphic settings. Let me exit out real quick. A game like this, I'm not going to lie. Uh, if I'm going to do like, I'm going to do videos, guys, trust me. I'm going to do a lot of videos of like executables running this. It does take like a minute to actually start up. Um, just real quick, we're going to go to options on this. We're going to go to graphic settings on this just to show you guys. 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz on this full screen. V-Sync. We're going to go to advanced. That's what we want to look at. And there we have it, guys. Texture quality, very high. Your blooms, whatever. Ambient. Oh, man. This is just, again, insane stuff. Again, Injustice 2 on this bar top. Insane stuff. Playing with these arcades and the arcade sticks. Really awesome stuff. We're going to load up real quick Mortal Kombat because I do want to see how that works. And uh, let's just check it out. Real quick, going to load up Mortal Kombat XL. Um... We do have Mortal Kombat 11 just came out, just discovered it is a 65 gigabyte file that is definitely going to go inside this bar top once I get a hold of it. This right now, fresh like load, first time I ever like loaded this game, this right now is running on its own auto configuration graphic kind of thing. So it right now is trying to figure out what it could do. I'm assuming right now this has to be high to very high graphics. I think I'm going to turn off this light. Let's just see. We got it real quick. What do we got? What do we got on our advanced? 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz monitor on this. There we go. We got shadow quality at high, very high and high. So it looks like it noticed it and it is going to give it a high setting on this. Two players, very high graphic settings. Again, we got this. Look at like the artwork on this Sub-Zero boss. We're gonna load up some Scorpion. Sub-Zero, randomize this. Let's just check out if the X360CE um, pads work. So basically, again, we're gonna take a look at this real quick. No, it looks like my pause is not going. It looks like my, my start button isn't working with this. Unless you can't pause this, I don't understand. It looks like I can't pause. That's very weird. I couldn't pause. I can't seem to pause this game. I have it set to one and two. I can't pause this game right now. So we're going to have to actually look into it. Unless there is no way to pause. Let's look at this. So again, I have this L2, R2. It looks like there's a change stance. This looks like a block of some sort. Same thing here. We have the same thing. I think there's an interact mode. So right now, I wish I could exit. I can't. I cannot exit, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at the manual on this again. I'm, this is why we test these things. Got to see if I have if I could exit. That's very odd. I never seen that you can't exit. But I'm just gonna real quick just beat Sub Zero up and let's just see if we could at least get out of the menu on this. So this is why, um, I mean, real quick, I'm just I'm just testing this out. I just literally spent like the last 30 minutes trying to find out how to get X360C to work. It looks like it's a big coding thing. I'm right now going to run into training. I'm doing training mode right now. And the thing I can't figure out is I can't pause the game. I, I'm i not too sure why I did a lot of things. So right now, for example, like I, I see all the button presses here, but I usually I have my controller set to pause here. But it looks like there's a known thing about the forums. If you go into Steam, there's a thing about this X360C thing not really working. But real quick, just check this out. We were playing around a little bit. We got like an insane like cutscene, like a grab. What did I do? 
it was like nuts. Like, I, I, I engaged something. There it is. Look at this. Like, unbelievable. The graphics are just unreal on this. But now the downside to this right now is that I am stuck. And this is what's, like, very difficult about these PC games and doing this is I, I have to do better research on it. Um, maybe I have to use Joy to Key for Mortal Kombat. But the only way for me right now to exit this, I have to actually use the Windows key and exit out of the game. Only because I can't figure out how to get the pause menu to work. Um, again, I'm on like this here, Fast Guide, Xbox 360 CE. I did all this, but again, this is where, you know, I have to sit and we have to figure out everything and all that. So again, just keep that in mind when you are looking to build one of these things. It, it takes time. All right, guys, like I said, I've been literally at this for like an hour. It's something about a DLL and the X input. We'll figure it out. For right now, real quick, let's just load up a two-player match on this. Um, it does work with a um, with a keyboard, so I could always use um, Joy to Key to run, um, you know, a keyboard input. But I just want to do some real quick gameplay, just showing off the 1050 Ti. Again, this thing is nuts. Uh, I'm just totally shocked by it. There it goes. I'm trying to find out what's wrong with my, my zoom. Pretty fast load times. Check this out again. Just like gonna like button mash the hell out of this thing, so. Again, the only issue I have, I could fight, I could play this, but I can't pause. And the other thing is that the system, once you once it notifies it as an Xbox 360 controller, our keyboard no longer works. We can't do anything with the keyboard. So until I figure that out, that's why, again, guys, I mean, you know, people will try to sell you these drives. If they don't test these things, I mean, that's the big thing right now. So I don't want my customer, you know, to play this game. But also the side note is you could play this with an actual Xbox 360 controller. But I mean, this is like arcade heaven. We're literally playing some freaking Mortal Kombat with the arcade sticks. I mean, it's 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 a different feeling from playing like an Xbox 360 controller. I get that. That's why we build these things. That's why we want, you know, this is what gamers want. We want this experience. I wish I knew how to throw a fatality or throw a super on this, but I never played Mortal Kombat like this. Again, the newer one, hopefully coming out. Just a quick video, pinball, Mortal Kombat. Again, I have a bunch of games for this. Again, we have, we're have we trying to load this up as much as possible. I hit the Windows key just to exit out real quick because again, I have to figure out the start button. But I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're gonna be doing Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. I didn't set up like the, the, the keypad, the, uh, the joystick on it yet, so. A lot of stuff, guys. This bar top, though, the biggest thing, we do have our pinball button set. Amazing stuff. Just a quick video. It's never a quick video. But see you guys in the next one.